I get asked lots of questions about these false memories. Is there any way to distinguish a true memory from a false memory? You might think that people would be more emotional about their true memories than their false memories. But in work done with a former PhD of mine, Kara Laney, uh, we planted false memories of things that would have been upsetting if they had happened. We got emotional reactions to those memories. We compared them to the emotional reactions of people who truly had the experiences, and those emotional ratings were very similar. Maybe the brain knows. Maybe if you could do uh, some functional magnetic resonance imaging, when people are recounting true memories or false memories, you might be able to use those neural signals as a way to dis uh, discriminate true and false memories. But with my collaborators who know a, a whole lot about fMRI, we showed, uh, if anything, uh, there's just a similarity in the neural signals when people are recounting a true memory versus a false one. 